All right, this is gonna be an oil change on a 2012 rear wheel drive S550. Of course, it has, I think, a 4.6 liter V8 twin turbo. I got this down in Florida, and it is another example of a very nice car. I mean, usual German car, wood, walnut, great dash. It's a really nice vehicle and it's in immaculate condition. I think it has, oh, what does it have? It has 72,000 miles on it. Yeah. I drove it up from Florida, ran fine. Of course, it got all the fluids changed, all the filters changed, got a tranny change, rear diff, but it's a great car. It's very quick, as you might imagine, with twin turbo. It's got a seven speed, 722.9 tranny, not the 722.6. So it's reliable. And of course, being a 2012, it was probably worth 110 grand when it was new and I got it for 15, which still isn't cheap, but compared to buying one of these cars when it's new. And of course, we're gonna try the same experiment we've done before. This one, of course, has a dipstick. It's a W220. Not a... Oh, wait. No, this is W221. I'm sorry. We haven't done the W220s yet. So we're going to do the usual thing. Vacuum. We'll put it on the lift. It's already on the lift. And then we'll lift it up, and we'll see how much fluid we have after we're done. So, oil... Filter cap, oil, filter. You gotta pop off this little plastic thing here to get easily to the cap for the filter. Car is otherwise clean. Very nice car. It's quite the cruiser. It's quick, it's quiet. One of the things I like about the S-Class is the seats on the older ones are soft and comfortable and adjustable and I really get into the seats so we're sucking the oil out as you can see and we're gonna loosen the cap per the routine you can see the little gasket right there or o-ring depending on how you want to look at it and we'll drop that down we'll unscrew this Break the air seal. Yeah, there we go. So now the oil is leaving the oil filter container and we'll just uh, get her done. We'll pump this puppy up for a while. And the nice thing about this, this car is cold and it takes 5W40. And once again, the filters and fluids are gotten from FCP Euro. They're reasonably priced. I mean, for $65, $70, you can get an original equipment, oil filter, synthetic oil, full synthetic. You can't beat that price. You take a car like this into a dealership, and I do love dealerships, don't get me wrong. They'll charge you a couple hundred dollars. And now, is that a bad price? Nope, that's more than reasonable. And so we'll just let this do its thing. I've checked all the fluids to make sure that they're hunky-dory. I did have to replace two shocks, two front shocks on this. It's an aromatic, you can see this tube here. They weren't bad, but the cover on side the shocks, the outside of the shocks were bad. Of course, the disc brakes were lubricated. I really like this style because of the humps, the arches around the wheel well. And I like the older Mercedes. They're just very comfortable. Those seats, oh, 221s have really nice seats. Two twenty W220s have really nice seats. But you start getting into the newer Mercedes, they're all stiff and hard, as tends to be the pattern with new cars now. You gotta have a stiff, hard seat. And I'm thinking, have you lost your minds? Why would anyone do that? Wheels look good. The body is rust-free. 
it, like I said, it was a car out of Florida. It had been garaged, relatively low miles. I think I got it when it was like 65,000 miles. Let's see if I can see this. And one of the things I always inspect is inside the fuel filler door. Now, realize it's plastic, but you don't see any rust or any corrosion. And everything's nice. It's got the soft closed doors. Let's see if it'll work for me. Yeah, you can see it works great. Mirrors are great. Headlights are great. It's a great car. And for the kind of money you spend for a car that was over a hundred grand nine years ago, imagine what a hundred grand is worth now in terms of price, you get a really nice vehicle. I believe this is the uh, cooler twin turbo. And like all my cars, it gets over maintained. This one is no exception. And we'll just keep pumping the fluid out. And then later on, we'll see how much fluid is actually left in the sump after we get it on the lift. We'll do a quick inspection on the underside and just hum right along. So, see you in a bit. All Bye. right, I pulled the drain plug for the oil. And this is how much oil came out. I'm roughly guessing it's two and a quarter, 250 cc's roughly. Now, let's put that in perspective. This thing holds 9,500 cc's of oil. 225, 250, so that's 0 0.02, let's see, that's, 1%, 0.1%, two, two tenths of a percent oil left in the crankcase, in the oil pan. Is it worth taking this off? Which, trust me, is a pain in the butt. Now, obviously it's worth it because you get to inspect the oil pan and the starter and the air compressor, I mean the air, air conditioning compressor. So overall, it's probably worth taking it off. Now, if you were in a hurry, is it worth the trouble to get that much oil remaining in the sump? I don't think so. Now, but would I take the splash pan off? Yeah, because it does, like I said, reveal a lot of stuff that you would not be able to inspect otherwise. So yeah, overall, I think it's worth doing. Now, suspension looks good, no leaks. There's the air shock that I installed in the front, still looks good. The part that was busted, that required me to replace it prophylactically, was this bellows right up here. Thing ran fine, no problems. Brakes look good drilled rotors. The exhaust system, of course, for a Florida car, no rust, no snow, no ice, looks good. Transmission looks good. I had that professionally done. No obvious leaks anywhere. Oh, there's a bit of goo here, but, oh, it's sticky. I'm not sure what it is. And there isn't a lot of it, so I'm not gonna worry. The other catalytic converter looks good. We look good up there. All the sheet metal's in place. I'm gonna take a look at the tranny. Uh, is that a little wetness? If it is, it's minimal. I would say it's weeping. And I had that done professionally. You can always take it back to O'Reilly's. I can spray it down now with some W, some brake clean. Everything looks really good. Yeah, I'm impressed. Yeah, it all looks good. Looks good. Exhaust system looks great, no rust. No problems on the side. I know I replaced the fuel filter on this, which people are getting to know I just like to do on cars I don't know anything about. Rear wheel drive 
Flex plate looks good. Diff looks good. Might be just the tiniest bit of seepage there, but insignificant. The boots look good. The shocks look good. No weeping. They're air shocks, so I guess weeping is a nonsensical thing to say. Looks good. Looks good. Coming back. Everything looks good. Yeah. Fuel tank looks good. Mufflers look good. No rust. Real exhaust pipes. None of this stuff now where you get a pipe coming out and then you just get a fake exhaust tip. Looks good. Tires look good. Tires look good. So it's had its multi-point inspection. Boy, that's funny to say. I'm not qualified to do it. Same thing over here. Same thing over here. Rubber looks good. No obvious problems. Splash pan looks good. So, I'm happy. So, time to insert the drain plug, put some oil in, life goes on. All right, I had the wrong oil filter in the picture. <laughs> it was for an S55. This is an L364, it's Mercedes-Benz. It's a Perflux. The oil filter cap is on. Like I always do, I take a quick look down into the valve cover. I look for contamination, anything that looks funky. It looks great to me. Obviously this is a very limited exam, but clearly it's clean. The oil looks good. There's no varnish. So, diff stick. I put in about eight and a half quarts of oil. I'll start it up. I will get it rocking and rolling. I get this little cap back on. It helps control sound. I think it's about all it does. But you know, quiet is important. You've got to be very quiet if you're a Mercedes. Because people expect their luxury cars to be quiet. So, that's it. What we learned today is the suction tool does a great job. It gets 95, 96, 97%, 98% of the oil out of the crankcase. If you're in a hurry, use the suction tool. You obviously get the filter. If you can come back later and always take an inspection if you need to.